No, don't go down there. Send the robot. What are you guys watching? Lost in Space. It's this new Netflix series that just came out. Danger, Will Robinson. How do, How you, do you know, know that? that? It's a remake. You say everything's a remake. That's because every show, movie, and song that you love is a remake. <sighs> We're comparing the old Lost in Space against the new one. 1965 through 1968 on CBS, you got to hear this. Danger, Will Robinson. And today on Netflix. Danger, Will Robinson. They're actually both really, really cool, and I'm going to give a full review without any spoilers involved. In the background, I've got the 1998 movie running, but I'm not going to involve it at all. It's kind of a standalone thing, and I'm just going to concentrate on the two separate series. CBS ran Lost in Space for three years in the 1960s. They actually turned down Star Trek because they thought Lost in Space would have more longevity and a more lasting effect. Kind of see how that one went. The first season was in black and white, and the last two were in color and really 1960s-ish color. You can totally tell by the costumes that they wore. So without spoiling anything for the current run on Netflix, I'm going to compare the two series and tell you that there's a lot of similarities. Both series relied on eight main characters. Even though the newer one does have a lot of extraneous people involved, it does still have just the main eight. There's the family Robinson with five characters that are all highly intelligent and talented and can get anything done that they set their minds to. There's Dr. Smith. There's Mr. West, who is a military person, either engineer, pilot, do it all kind of person. And then of course there's the robot. In the original pilot for Lost in Space, the robot and Dr. Smith weren't in there. As a matter of fact, they didn't show this pilot and it wasn't available to anyone until 1997. I've actually included it in the links and on the end caption here so you can watch it. Both series are relying on a Jupiter capsule, which is a spaceship and it's UFO shaped in both of them, and they're both trying to get to Alpha Centauri. Now, the original was for exploration, and the new one, because of the way the times are, they're relying on the, the Earth is dying and we need to find something new to go to. As far as direct comparisons on how viewable both of these series are, they're pretty different. The original had kind of a campy feel to it. Um, season two tried to get kind of funny. Um, it was a TV series thing where you didn't have to watch each episode to keep up what was going on with the family. And kind of like Gilligan's Island, they got a little off track here and there. It's still entertaining, but the budget wasn't that great either. Now the new one is totally the opposite. Being Netflix, you know they're gonna keep it edgy. The effects are superb and keep you right in with it. And there's even a little bit of a scare feeling in some of the episodes. Uh, watching with Reagan, there were times where we were doing it after school and starting to get dark at night. And we had to stop and take a break so she could, you know, sum up a little bit of courage to watch it again or even just watch it during the daytime. So if your kid is kind of borderline, you know, scary, there are some moments in there. Some of the creatures are not so silly suit like they are in the original. They look kind of real and they make bad sounds and they can be a little bit disturbing for younger viewers. For the rest of us and the adults, this thing is great. It's Sometimes it's just seat of your pants action all the time. You start to love certain characters. You start to really hate a certain character and just the twists and turns that they do with this keeps it different enough that you don't know exactly what's going to happen but if you're a fan of the original series you're going to kind of feel where it's going and uh well just ignore this it actually wasn't a bad movie it just doesn't really apply to what's going on here so since i'm not doing any spoilers i don't want to reveal anything else of the new one so we are not binging this thing doing all 10 episodes at once but that's mainly for personal reasons. With Reagan not being able to watch it during most of the nighttime hours or keeping her up late, we're just kind of watching little bits and pieces or, you know, one episode at a time. And secondly, and probably most importantly, we find that when we binge something, it's great, but it's like eating a great meal too fast and it's over too quickly. So we're gonna space these episodes out, make them last a little bit longer, and just enjoy it. Either way, you're gonna have fun watching this series. <laughs>